Hi there guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel here at Winchester Golf Academy. Today is an exciting day, we're looking at the new 2017 tailor-made product. And as you all know, it's quite close to my heart because I'm a tailor-made man and I'm currently using the new M1 driver and now we're going to be testing next year's 2017 M1 driver. Fresh new look, we've got new colours, new shafts, new materials. Let me take you through the whole lot, let's look at the evidence. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the differences and features the new M1 2017 products offering and how it's going to benefit you in your game. So first of all, before we talk about the features, this new um, 2017 model is going to be available in 440cc and 460cc. So last year, this was available in a little bit smaller than 430cc, but now it's going to be 440 and 460, just so you've got those two options available to you. Now, you may have heard me mention before, this is a new multi-material layer. So what that means is on the bottom of the club head now, they've got this new carbon composite on the bottom of the head. And what TaylorMade are trying to do there is they're trying to make the whole club lighter so they can distribute the weight, which we've got in these T-tracks here, more. So this is a little bit like what their motto is this year, this year, is that they're making everything they've done in this last year's, this year's M1, and they're making it better in next year's M1. So this lighter head means that they can distribute more of that weight back and through this T-bar. Essentially what that means for you guys is that it's increasing MOI and it means it's more tunable to your game. So all benefits in this year, just making it better next year. And they're doing that by carbon composite. Now, they've made it a new six layer composite rather than last year's seven layer composite. And there's a little bit technical on how they're making it this year. They're making it slightly better, which means there's less cracking involved in the, in the carbon. So it's a lot stronger, but lighter at the same time. Right, so the new carbon composite altogether makes this club 2017 model 43% lighter. And you may ask why, why do you need a golf club that's slightly lighter? But TaylorMade's M1 uh, motto is really trying to make these T-Track adjustable. So now they've said, we're gonna make the whole head lighter to try and make this golf club more adjustable and more forgiving for every golfer out there. So this, these bars now are two grams heavier than last year's model. So what we can do is we can move these weights further back and further towards the heel and the toe to make it more adjustable and, and suit your game. So in fact, what I've been told is that if we move this weight further back in the head, the MOI increases a lot. And MOI stands for moment of inertia. And essentially what that means is that there's less twisting of the golf club at impact. So this golf club, we're gonna test it out in a second. And this golf club is essentially a lot more forgiving than last year's M1. So there's the carbon composite. We've, uh, we've looked at what effects that has on the T-bar and, and what adjustability that can have to your game next year. Um, essentially what I think is the golf club looks amazing. It looks really nice and fresh. There's a new colour in it this year. It's this lime green colour, which I really do like the look of. And uh, that carbon composite on the bottom of the club really looks fantastic. Okay guys, so there's three main shafts next year for you guys to try out. We have them all here at Winchester Golf Academy in 2017 for you to have a go with, but essentially there's three key ones that you need to keep an eye out for. So the first one is what I've used all this year, um, which is the mid spinning shaft. So it's the Kurakagi, Kurakagi, Kura Cage, who knows, but you know by now this is the shaft I use, I really like it. It's a mid spinning shaft, mid launching shaft as well. Um, and there's two more either side um, just to look at. So the one more that's a higher spinning shaft is the Fujikura. And the one that's a, a lower spinning shaft is the Hazardous Yellow which uh, is a new one for TaylorMade this year. Uh, we've not actually got one to show you, but it's coming out next year and, and they're testing. It's come up really good, a low spinning shaft. It's made by Project X. No one's really seen it yet, but keep your eye out for it. It'll be coming out soon in uh, 2017, January time, I should imagine. But we'll have them here next January for you to all have a go with. So three shafts, high spin, low spin, and mid spin, which is the one I like using, the Kurokagi, but keep an eye out. Let's give them a try. Let's look at the evidence on GC2 and let's see what effect that has on the, uh, on the ball flight. Right then guys, here's my baby. This is the club I've been using all year in competition. So it's the M1 2016 set up with a Kurokagi stiff shaft. Let's give, it, let's give it a go and let's look at some figures that I'm currently getting on GC2. So that's first one in the morning, but I'm, uh, I'm feeling like I can't really hit it better than that. But that's uh, pretty good for me, those figures there. But we'll talk about them in a second. Let me just hit one more. Yep, 
they're quite fair for me. In fact, I hit that second one quite, quite well as well. So um, we'll compare the figures a bit later on, but um, for now, I'm going to just compare that straight against the 2017 model and see what the feel difference is and what the figure difference is as well. So, right, here it is, the club in question, the one you've all been waiting to see, the new M1 2017 and it's looking gorgeous. It's got the same shaft as I've currently got in my own club, but just slightly different graphics for next year, um, and the same loft and uh, same flex of the shaft. But just first first thoughts on looking down at the club. I'm not sure um, whether they've changed the head shape slightly differently, and I think they have just slightly differently, but it just looks slightly bigger than the club I've, I've had before in the past. It's still 460cc, but it just looks like when I put the golf club behind the ball, it just looks like it's gonna just, only gonna go straight. Just that bit more forgiving, slightly bigger looking club oh I'm looking forward to this wow how easy was that to hit that was incredible incredible that just felt so sweet off the face and I mean looking at the strike mark I've just caught that first one slightly off the heel as well I mean that just felt smooth a hell of a lot more balanced than the one I'm currently using but wow I'm, uh, maybe it's the honeymoon period let's give it let's give it a couple more goes I mean it's early in the morning for me still but I've caught that one off the toe and my word that is uh, that is flown that's flown. I mean, when you look down at the club now, I don't know what it is, but it's just, uh, it's slightly darker in the head and it looks meaner. It looks like I can do more damage with this club. Not to the scorecard, to the fairways, I mean. It just sits better. Guys, I've not caught one out the middle yet, but that's me, but that just feels so smooth off the face. That feels just like it's just the, the speed off the face and the forgiveness of it is incredible. Let's see if we can catch one of these out the middle. I think if we got this on a robot, it would have been a bit better testing, but how long have we got for this video for me to hit one out the middle? Oh, there it is. That's what I've been waiting for. Can we get one of these in the bag? Let's get it in the bag straight away. I think that's just looking at the GC2 figures there. That's gone a, that's gone a long way for me. Looking at those figures there. Longest carry, biggest ball speed. And I mean, it just comes from very slightly just outside of the middle of the golf club, but that felt fantastic, guys. If you're out there wanting to enjoy your golf this 2017, this is going to be the club for you. This is going to be offer you the most enjoyment on the golf course. It's beautiful. I've only got it here for testing today, guys, but 20, 2017, January, we'll have them all here at Winchester Golf Academy and uh, you can come and give them a go. But hey, I think this might, might stay in my golf bag today. They're not taking this away. Two five nine, two five nine. I mean, I don't even go to the gym, and that's that's big boy stuff. Two five nine, less than two thousand backspin. Now that might have something to do with the uh, slightly lighter head and the, the carbon composite in the head, but really, if you look at those previous figures of my last last year's ball spin, I'm not getting anywhere near that backspin rate of my own current club. But that is big for me. What two five nine? Maybe, uh, maybe I'm in the wrong, maybe I should go on tour next year. No, taking it too far. One more try then before I'm uh, getting too carried away. I mean, 255, 259, I mean, that's, that's a new me. That's a new me, 2017, M1, new Gary Booth, now we know why the big guys, the big hitters on the tour are hitting this club next year. T Taylor made for Rory McIlroy, Tiger Woods, Jason Day, the top two players in the world. Guys, 
there's only one driver to be hitting this year and it's the M1 2017 model. It's the latest technology and it's showing that on all of my figures. It's going to be amazing for you guys and it's going to be really nice and easy to hit and you're going to be hitting the ball past all of your teammates on the golf course. Come and give it a try. Right then guys, what you really need to know is what the figures tell us from GC2. Now, this year's 2016 M1 product, which I'm currently using, my best shot went 247 yards carry. Now that for me is probably the best I can do. I could probably stand here for another hour or so and not hit the ball any further, not carry the ball any further than that. However, when I went up to the M1 2017 product, the last three there, if you have a look at the best ones I hit, the 259 carry, that's incredible that I've just got in the space of minutes, 12 yards extra carry. That's just from changing from this year's model to next year's M1 2017 model. Now, 259 carry with 150 mile per hour ball speed, that's unheard of for me. So no guesses to, to know which golf club I'm putting in my bag for next year. I hope you enjoyed um, our video here in Widgets Golf Academy on the M1 driver review. Now, you've got lots of sneak previews here, but shh, I've got one more for you guys. This next year, they're not just bringing out an M2 driver, for you guys who, who fade the ball or slice the ball from left to right and hit the ball too far right, don't tell anyone this, you've heard this here first. Next year they've got an M2 draw version, which means they put a little bit more weight in the heel of the golf club to help you guys hit more draw spin. That's new, That's you've heard that here first on our YouTube channel. So. This M1, by the way, we've got that available from January next year. 27th, uh, 27th of January, you'll be able to purchase one of these here at Winchester Golf Academy. But hey, if you own one of our privilege cards, now here at Winchester Golf Academy, we give these out for free. We are giving you, the privilege card holders, a perk that on the 21st of December this year, 2016, we will have all these products in dem demonstration models for you to try. All you've got to do is have one of these, you'll get one of these if, you, if you've got one of these if you've got our newsletter, but you can come 21st December in the evening between 4 and 9 o'clock and we've got all of, not just these, we've got all the M2s and all of the irons and all the products and all the next, next year's products for you to try. So if you haven't got one of these already, get one in your pocket and you'll be invited to our exclusive tailor-made demo launch evening. Cheers, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe below. We're also available on Facebook and Twitter, so come and join us over there and see what we've got to offer. Thanks for watching.